And I'm back once again to do another uh, Kirby 64 segment. This time I'm gonna do level 4 Neostar. Let's go! Bump. Well, <laughs> wasn't much over there that time. <laughs> Smash Kirby's face into the side of the screen. I got stone from that guy. What happens if I get stone and... What the? Okay. I guess that guy doesn't give you anything. I figured he'd give me needle or something. What the? You butt fucker! Goddamn, whatever the hell those are. Bag worms. Unless you stand up to a stone, bitch. Get down here! Yeah! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> okay. Stone is not immune to spikes. <laughs> It's such, always such a, an incredible enemy in like every 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 platforming game ever. If there's spikes, then that's like always super ultra death. Oh, that, that's bullshit. Baited me with that star, and then it opened into a spike pit. Yeah, fuck you. Hit him with my stone explosions. Fucker! Running to get ahead of those bag worms and still got hit by that thing. That was stupid. Man. I am blowing it. Aha! See? Caught that one in, adva in advance. And then they throw that fucker in the way. I can't trigger it with you in the way, you fuck nut. Maybe I can't. Oh, nice! Glad I did that. Shit. That was bullshit. And damn near impossible to get past. I mean, they 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 put the feed the food right in between the fucking bagworm and the spike. The spike pit. How fair is that? Oh well, on we go. I got shards to get. Can I go down? Yes, I can. Because there's a shard down here. Looks like the, scroll doesn't, the screen doesn't go down any more than that, though. So that's probably Super Ultra Death Pit down there. So I'll go up instead. Ow! Ugh! Fuck you! Look at that fucker. He'd love to fry me to death. Ugh! Fuck you! <laughs> Look at that ass. He's, he's like, I'm just gonna fl gradually float down into your face. And then I get a fucking arrow to the face from that fucker off the screen that I can't even see when he throws his arrow. Fuck you. Crush the shit out of you. God fucking man. This game is brutal this time. Yeah, get close, bitch. Fuck you. I don't think the problem is not that the game is brutal, it's that I'm not playing the game right. I am not using the abilities that the game has given me to use. How far up this can I go? Just to the top of the screen. What about the other side? God fucking... Ah. Bitch, 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 bitch. Thing down here? No. Wait a minute. Can you go double fast? Yes, you can. You can go double fast down these vines. That's handy. You know what's not handy is jumping off the vine at the wrong timing and watching each vine fly away from you <laughs> while you have limited time to get off the damn thing or er, to get back on the damn thing. That seems suspicious to me. This platform here. But I slammed into it with double stone and nothing happened. So, I don't think anything is gonna happen. Feeling the game's leading me away from something. I don't see anything down here. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> I love that double stone walk. It's slow, but damn, does it work. Fucker. Yeah, fuck you. Ugh. Throw around my considerable bulk. Those damn bagworms. They just get right in your fucking face. <laughs> what the fuck? I hit the damn thing from below. That's supposed to stun it. And that didn't work on the bagworms either. Bitch biscuits. <laughs> you asses, man. <laughs> They really fly down. Oh, ass game, ass game! How was I supposed to know that that thing's gonna fall away and distract me with the crystal shard up at the top? I was looking at that. Ass game. Damn it! Go. Whatever, whatever's supposed to be going here, go. See what they do there? The they have these log lift things in the background, or on on the bottom of the screen. But if you try to go up above them at the top of the screen, they have the fucking blue spike birds in your face. Now was that three shards? That might have been all of them for this level anyway. I was about to say, fuck you. Uh-uh, you're not getting away by jumping over me. You get to bite it. Yeah, even takes out blocks easily. Damn it! Tried hard to get away from that motherfucker. He just flew into my face anyway. Alright, can I get the one up? Can I get the one up? I'm gonna go... Uh. Ah, yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that this game is not saving my one-ups, because... I'm guessing I started with three, and I'm pretty sure I finished the last segment with more than three. So that kind of sucks. Oh, there's no way to get all these. Oh, you bitch game, there's a shard up there. I'm gonna start this over. If I want that damn shard. Flip down easy. There it is. <laughs> Ribbon had to go away after it and then come flying way back. Oh, we're gonna ride this minecart? Okay. You gonna get in, Waddle Dee? I'm gonna serve as 50% ballast. I forgot, you don't have to jump the, the little baddies on the way. You just have to jump the huge deadly blue stones. And the gaps. Ah, oh, there's a fucking shard up there, you bitch game. It's okay, I'm probably gonna die anyway. Ooh, damn. I was not even paying attention there. I thought for some reason that was going to be the end of the track and and that I was supposed to hit that giant boulder in the way, but nope. I was expected to, to jump it. See, right there you're supposed to hit the end, because it is the end. Nothing up there. Can I jump on top of that? No! <laughs> You'd think that only the bottom is deadly. Fucker! Oh, you don't get anything from those friggin' red spiky pseudo fish things either? Yeah, fuck you. Jump the clump.
I was probably called something else besides swamp, swamps in this game, but that's what they are. I mean, they're they're vaguely rectangular things that fall from the ceiling to squish you when you get close. That's a swamp. Damn it! I need that. I can't believe those crabs don't give you anything. I would expect that they would give you, like, cutter or maybe even needle. And fuck you. Seems like everything's just slamming into me. Like, you fucking goddamn crab. God damn it, this place has crabs. This place has serious fucking crabs. I see you up there, you cannon shooter bullshit. Wait for me to get close and then shoot me in the head. Actually, I guess Kirby's kind of all head, isn't he? Walking against the current here. Trying to get past those things first and trying to avoid things falling from the ceiling at the same time. Yeah, fuck you. Damn fucking cannon. Oh, <laughs> did, you, did you see that? Apparently you can do that to cannonballs. You can jump at them and explode them without hurting you. So you can hit them from the bottom, but not from the side. That's bullshit. What did I just kill? What, what is that up there? Oh, the, oh, okay. That's There's a cannon up there, but it's like hidden behind this foreground rock thing. So all you can see is the little explosion when it fires. And I should stop blabbing and get past the cannon so that it can't shoot me. Starting to wonder if there's anything hidden up here in the ceiling. Like a hidden little alcove or something. Damn it. Really starting to hate those things. Damn it, Chud! All I was trying to do was just walk down the slope and then the current starts pushing me. I'm trying to walk away from the things that are falling on my head and the current pushes me into the cannonball. Game's getting bullshitty, I swear. Asses! Couldn't even see you and he got to throw a spark at me. Get out of the hole so you can fucking swallow it. Jesus. Oh, nice. <laughs> I get a double plasma sword. Eat that fucker. I need these. That dude would just love to go ape shit when I get... Yeah, see that fucker? Fuck you. Eat plasma, bitch. I'm, I'm intentionally following down into each one of these holes to see if maybe I can fall down into like a hidden area or something. So far, nothing. God damn it! Get out of the water. That's something else that's consistent in Kirby games, too. The, the enemy AI is very, very simple and often has very few moves, but at the same time, um, it's so easy to get taken in by it. As you saw as an example at the beginning of this part of the level, where the spike guy, or the spark guy on the cloud, all he does is he just waits for you to get close and starts throwing sparks. It's a very simple AI, but it was still timed perfectly to hit me right where the game expected me to hit it. And that looks like that is what? Uh, cutter and stone? So I'm going to have to come back in for that. Is 
that cutter? See, damn my color blindness. I can't tell if that's like green or red. Those spots. Fuck you! Man! Swung the damn double plasma sword with all my might and he found the one hole! It's handy for taking these things out, though. No bonus, no shard. Fuck you, game. I need that. <laughs> and then immediately take a fucking bone to the face. See that simple AI? It really knows how to fuck you. <laughs> yeah, the way of that. Do not need to have my body smushed in. Get out of the way, you're impeding my timing. Go, you stupid thing. Biscuit, fucker biscuits. So what I missed, I missed the one on the top of the track, and I need cutter and stone. And I can get both of those in this level. So I'm going back in. Now I'm going to get those fucking shards. Game would like to say, no, fuck you, you can't have them. But, fuck you back, game. I'm getting them. Actually, it reminds me of Donkey Kong Country. The uh, the minecart levels in those games, which were always some of the funnest levels for me, despite the fact that like I neither like nor am I good at any sort of what the f God. I jumped over it. Anyway, as I was saying, and. I'm not good at any form of racing or driving game or anything. And yet, I like the minecart stages. I guess because you're not really doing racing or driving, <laughs> it reduces the game to one control, just jumping. And yet, through all kinds of creative variations of level design, it manages to stay fresh and um, full of twists and turns the whole way. Got it, fucker. Now I just gotta get to the end of this without falling into some massive chasm. Jump over the giant rock this time. See, maybe I'm not actually blowing as hard as I think I am. <laughs> the game just unceremoni unceremoniously dumps you out of the thing. Now what happened to Waddle Dee? Because he fell out too. I don't see him. But damn it. Got too close to it. Come on. Get out. Get your ass down. Get your ass up. I can go get this meat up here. Gotta suck on some meat. Do it. <laughs> get that. Okay, now I can't forget. I'm looking for cutter and stone. 
Notice I'm shooting those out behind me just in case there's a cutter or a stone ahead of me. So if I fire ahead of me, then I'll kill it before I can get it. Of course, as we learned in previous segments, for the special enemies, all you have to do to get another chance at getting them is just get their spawn point off the screen and then get it back on the screen and they'll be they'll respawn. Ass. Thought I could run under that guy before he fell. Yeah, I did it that time. See, when you actually pay attention and try, it's not that hard. Maybe I actually need... Spark? That thing could have been like a dark yellow. Okay, there's the cutter guy. I'm getting close to where the thing is. Ass. So come on, where's the stone guy? Could have sworn I saw a stone guy in this level. Maybe I didn't. Nope, all I saw was the cutter guy. Well, piss. Okay. I'll go out and go back to the beginning of this level. I know there's stone guys in here. Okay, there's a stone guy right there. A hammer that just hit me in the face. Fuck you. This power again? That's what it wants me to use to get through there? If I'm right, that is. Now, kind of irritating. I have to go all the way back through the level and all the way back through the, the minecart part, which is effectively an auto-scrolling portion. There's no way I can speed this up or slow it down. Well, at least it's not hard. I mean, really, all you have to do is jump over the boulders and jump over the gaps, and you're fine. Yeah, got the special blue star. It's also quite satisfying to just be in this minecart and plowing through every single enemy in your way without having to do anything. It's like it's like having invincibility, really. Don't know if I can make it under those swamps by just running. And it doesn't look like it. Of course, not all these swamps are at the same height, either. So it may be possible to get under the ones that are falling from a greater height. The smart thing to do, instead of risking it, is to just go a little slower and let them fall and then walk under them. Which is, of course, <clears throat> what I'm trying to do. Come here, bitch. Come here, bitch. Ugh, fuck you. Ah, I can fly as invulnerable birdie. Okay, gotta get through this section. Damn it! Fucking flying turned on. I didn't want it to. Damn it! Hit the cannon. <laughs> okay. I didn't see or intend to take that guy out with the air pellet, but I'll take it. Do 
Turn me into that bird again. Oh, there's this one. The owl. It's pretty slow, though. Can't do shit with the fish. Turn me into the bird. Yes. You see, it, it flies pretty well. It has fairly good speed. It may actually be a little faster to be running as Kirby. But I'm invulnerable this way, so... Very handy. And it looks like this doesn't run out. Like, I can just keep going like this as long as I want, so that's pretty cool. Look at that, those ape shit fuckers are trying and they're failing. Okay, it is not cutter in stone. You know what? That looks black to me. Black is bomb. So maybe it's cutter and bomb. Where can I get a bomb guy? I need cutter and bomb. I remember seeing any bomb guys in this level. There were some in here, but they were in the minecart section. So I can't get them. So I'm gonna have to leave and come back. Let's go to Popstar. First level. Which hopefully means that I can get these powers quickly and easily. Ass. That guy was that was a cutter guy, wasn't it? Sir Kibble? I think is his name. Yeah, fuck you, needle guy. Yep, Sir Kibble, that's his name. I don't know how or why I know that. <laughs> Get out of the way. Get me some blue star while I'm here. While I'm venturing to get these powers, I can also be working towards another one up. So it's not a big waste of time. Just a little waste of time. But you know what? No amount of time spent working towards a crystal shard is a waste of time. That's what that's what you're in this game for. That's the purpose. That is the goal. Come on, I know there's a bomb guy here. Somewhere. There he is. You fucking dick! What a flaming fucking dick. Ass. Another bomb guy. Start that level again. And take the first Seer Kibble that I see. Hit him in the back. <laughs> oh, I remember this ability. Ugh! Fuck you! <laughs> Alright. Let's go back out to... Neo Star. Go back in this level. I'm getting that fucking crystal shard. Look at that. I got ten extra lives now. Here, I thought I've been sucking so far in the game, but I've been racking up extra lives still. I just love how this minecart takes out everything without even having to try. Like, in all of these enemies, just about all of them are trying to attack when the minecart gets close, and so even their attack can't get through. <laughs> Not good enough. <laughs> it freaking dumps you out of that thing. 
It actually reminds me of... What was the game? Paper Mario 2 or... No, it was Super Paper Mario. Where... There's a part a ways into the game where there's a minecart section, sort of like that, too. And, um... Whenever you get to the track, there's like a, a bump in the track, just like there, there is in this game. Only there's no pit after the track. Uh, so you hit the bump, and it still dumps you out of it, but Mario lands right on his face. <laughs> and it's, it's funny because the, 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 uh, the minecart section has its own music. And so it's like this kind of like happy kind of rolling kind of banjo kind of rhythm and so you're listening to that and you don't see the end of the track coming until it's too late and you hit that you fly out of it you face plant and the music stops right there <laughs> and and the sound when you hit it's not like a a big kind of thumping sound it's it's like a, it's almost anticlimactic <laughs> like the music stops you land on your face and you're out of the cart, and it's just a bump sound. <laughs> anyway, that's a Super Paper Mario. That's a really good game. Um, I'm a fan of the Paper Mario series, too. Uh, Paper Mario 2 being my favorite one. And it's just a, a solid bunch of games. I think each one's better than the last. Each one has better music than the last one. <laughs> okay, that still worked. You fuck nut. You fuck nut. Yeah, take it. <laughs> that crab almost got me, but it didn't. Still trying to get these foods. Oh, that was close. <laughs> if I hadn't flubbed throwing that exploding star, because I didn't actually mean to throw it right there, if I hadn't fucked that up, then that Cutter Guys... I would have landed right on that Cutter Guys thing. And on, I don't know that that's actually his name. I don't know his name. Okay, it's not Bomb and Cutter. Well, what else can it be? Bomb and Stone? Maybe that's Brown. Alright. I'll go get Bomb and Stone. Another stone in here. Go grab that first hammer that I see. I, I gotta drop my power first. Jesus. Forget that part. I'm really glad the game doesn't make you beat the level to keep the power. Um, because I seem to recall that there's other similar games, maybe even other Kirby games, that are like that. And it's kind of bullshit, if you ask me. Especially if you've already beaten the level once. I seem to recall there being bomb guys towards the beginning of this level. I could be totally wrong. Oh, there is one. Alright, now what, do, what does this do? Dynamite! Okay. That makes sense for getting through that thing. Holy Jesus Christ! That thing goes the hell off! <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Hit me from way over here. Okay, I'm going to keep that in mind when I use it on that wall. Of course, being a Kirby game, I probably still have to keep the dynamite on the screen or it won't blow up. So, it could be tricky. Okay, minecart again. Here we go. Come on, push it, Waddle Dee. Ein Wein Drein. Ow. Okay, I wasn't paying attention. I was... <laughs> believe it or not, what I was doing is I was looking at the, the, uh, the minecart track that, I had, that was behind me that I'd already driven over. Because I had noticed that not all parts of the, the track have wooden planks underneath them. So I was looking to see where the parts that did and did not have the wooden planks in. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I should keep my eyes on where they're supposed to be ahead of me.
I'm good at jumping over that one, though. I just had to slam the hell into it the first time around, and then I learned. Now, one thing about that dynamite is I could not set it off myself. Like, I tried pushing B again to detonate it, but it, it didn't work. So, that means I'm going to have to find alternate ways of killing enemies en route, which is why I'm sliding into these enemies. Of course, the dynamite might explode immedi immediately upon touching an enemy, too, which would be bad, because I would probably more likely to throw it at an enemy that's close, and then, of course, it explodes and hits me with it. Okay, how many times am I going to do that before I learn? You know, I wonder if there's anybody that's ever played this game that never pushed the B button, or they never figured out that you can push down to copy an enemy's power, and so they think that all Kirby can do is suck things in and spit them out, or all he can do is slide, and they get to the very end of the game without ever picking up a single power, and they're like, well, this game fucking is boring as hell. <laughs> it's possible. The more units that a game sells, the more likely that someone is going to totally not get it. <laughs> Seems to have gotten reasonably well at getting through this part. Just wish there was some more food. So that's okay, though. There's food in here. Ass! Okay, this is gonna be this is gonna be close. I need to get food. And I'm pretty sure if I die like that, then I lose my powers. Yes? God damn it, game. Okay, well I, in the very least I know where I can go to get the two powers I need quickly. Cause there I've already got fifty percent of what I need. Where did I go? I went into level 2 in here, didn't I? Yeah. And there was a bomb guy sitting on top of the stump. Okay, so at least there's that. I don't have to play a bunch of the game just to get my powers back. And on the plus side, every time I come in here, I can get that blue star again, so... With every life that I lose, I'm working towards another one, and there's still that life that's about halfway through this level that's there every time, so... As long as I can still make it to that life every time, it's like having infinite continues. I don't know if you ever have to actually jump that first gap. I mean, it does the exclamation point, saying, implying that you should jump, but maybe that's just the game telling you that you should jump over the gaps, and the first one is free, but you better do the ones after it. Ow! Fuck! Jump too late. And what happens to the minecart, too? It and Waddle Dee just kind of go off into nothingness. Maybe Waddle Dee automatically appears in the next level that he's needed. Like there's some kind of weird force that whisks him away and it knows exactly where to drop him off next. Probably thinking too much into this. I mean, this, this is a game about a guy that eats things and steals their powers. There's not, there's not a whole lot of logic to it. See, I remembered that time. 
Unfortunately, those crabs don't go too apeshit when you get close. They just sniff once and then they're done. They're done. Okay, now I'm back to here, the difference is this time I'm actually full, so I might be able to get through this without blowing up. Ah shit, should not have done that, should not have done that, get out of the way you fucking things. Jesus Christ, thing was way off the screen and it still fucking blew to hell, did you hear that sound effect? <laughs> it was loud. I don't need that. <laughs> Keep going. There's little stars in there that I'm missing too, and I don't care. Okay, here's the moment of truth. Does it work? Come on, blow up. Ow! Damn. Oh, fuck. I blew another one by mistake. Whew. Okay, it does work. There, finally, man. I had to work for that one. Next level. I'm thinking maybe I should dump this dynamite power because it's kind of dangerous. And it takes forever to work anyway. What does this do? Oh, nice! I fire a, a missile. And I think, if I remember correctly, yes, I can hold the button. And I'm not actually pushing right right now. The, the um,. The drill, I guess it's not actually a missile, it's a drill that I throw, but the drill is pulling me along with it. And automatically killing anything that gets in the way of the drill, so yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> fuck you. And of course I got as many of these to throw as I want. Take out all those fuckers, yeah! eviscerate those stone guys before they have a chance to land on me like that guy. Like he almost did. Oh, there's a shard. There's a shard down in there. Game was hoping I'd just jump right over it and not see it. Fucking bouncing fucker thing. I don't even know what those things are. The enemies in most... M like most of the enemies in the Kirby games are, like, really abstract. They're, they're stuff that you don't see in any other game or even in any kind of existence at all. Like, you have to think that, like, the artists were doing some serious, serious crack when they came up with this stuff. But such is the way with drugs, I suppose. They're kind of a conduit to creativity. And we wouldn't have... 90% of rock and roll without them, so... Bring on the drugs, I guess? <laughs> Damn it, now I'm gonna have to put some disclaimer in the text of this video saying that I'm not a role model or something like that. Damn it, that fucker blocked me with his bone! Fuck you and your boner. Fuck you. Pretty cool. I don't have to get close to these guys. I don't have to jump on their platform and hope that they don't hit me. Ass! Oh, come on, game. These are some really small platforms here. <laughs> shit, 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 shit. Thought I undershot it, and I actually shot it perfectly, and then I almost overshot it. It's one way that <laughs> video games can consistently get you is through overcompensation. That looks like a pizza. What are you trying to tell me, game? He's supposed to complete the pizza somehow. Oh, you know what? You know what I bet you do here? I bet you come in here as the fridge and you, you throw out some food and he uses that to complete the pizza. 
How do you turn it into the fridge? <laughs> I don't remember the powers that did that. I did it in the previous segment. Wait a minute. No, I'm remembering something else here. I think... I'm thinking that this next screen with all the blocks, I'm supposed to take out the blocks and make them look like... make them shaped like the pizza. So... I think... Do it like that. No! Fucker! I gotta go back and reset it. The tricky thing is, is that pizza's kind of at an angle. I don't think they'd make it that hard, though. And I'm not exactly sure how much of these corners I'm supposed to take out, either. actually start by just taking out just the corner. See what that does. Okay, that didn't do anything. Ah ha ha ha, I was right! Nice, nice, nice. So I don't have to come back in here with the fridge power. And I also don't have to do that again. Even if I die here before I beat the level, I can save time and not have to carve a pizza out of those blocks again. <laughs> yeah. I like how that missile keep how that drill keeps going. As long as you keep it on the screen, it'll keep killing. <laughs> nice. No, nope. <laughs> Killed the Maraca guy. Oh well. If he knew what was good for him, he wouldn't be Maraca-ing in the way of my drill. <laughs> I hesitated the first time I went up to, went to that platform because I saw the animation inside the hole there and I thought maybe something was going to pop out of the hole and get me. Out, fired the wrong damn way. Fuck you. Hmm. Suspicious these holes in the cliff here. In the rock face. Maybe food is all they have in them. That was kind of weird how that guy was set up, too. Hmm. I'm starting to see conspiracy everywhere. Damn cactus. It's, it's like a four-lobed cactus that just... bounces around. Damn you! Eat missile, bitch. Or drill. Kind of a missile once you throw it. Ah, look at this. Look at the platforms here. K I R. I wonder what it could be spelling. <laughs> is this the end of the level? Yes, it is. And I. Did I get all three shards? I don't remember getting all three. Oh, damn it. Did the that jump totally backwards? Did not need that Maxim tomato whatsoever. Yeah, see, I missed one. I missed the last shard. Hmm. I'm going to have to be investigative here. So the first shard was down inside the thing that I jumped over that the game wanted me to, to jump over. But I got it instead. That was the first one. The second one was carving out those blocks to look like a pizza. 
which is a phrase or a sentence that I never thought I would say. <laughs> so that means that, fucker, that means that the third shard is after the pizza blocks. Even the lamest of these enemies seems to be very, very good at jumping over my drill shots here. Ow! Fucking hammer. One thing I don't like about this drill is it cancels your run. So if you're running when you fire it, and you keep holding the button, the, uh, the D-pad button, then you're back to normal walking speed, so that's kind of annoying. Hey, I'm about to get a one-up. Let me get that star. Ass. You know, that makes me think back... The, the the pizza block puzzle thing. That makes me think back to... That dark room that had the three holes in the wall. That had the little painter kid in it, too. And I... I don't remember, what, but was there a painting also in that room? That might have been giving me a hint... For what to do with the blocks in the next room? I don't know, I don't remember. But I will figure it out, because I'm going to get all these shards. See, for the longest time, I had no idea what to do here. And I don't know how I figured it out. I didn't... I definitely didn't figure it out that time... Uh, for the first time. Because, again, somehow I... Drew upon a... A really old memory. Of having once figured it out. Damn it! I was just trying to see what was down there. I was gonna fly right back up. Nothing from that guy. Now with stone, I'm gonna have to be careful taking out these enemies that are in the air, because, as you can see, usually they're also over the gaps, and of course if I try to stone them, I'm gonna fall right in the gap. Ass! Okay, nothing up here. I was wondering if, like, that Maraca guy was... Like, the game was trying to give me a hint or something. You fucker! Shoot me through the floor? Only I'm allowed to do that to you, bitch. Get up, god. Ugh, that's a lot of wasted fire. <laughs> flame jet thing, whatever that is. Sure does go up a ways. Come around the back of this guy and do that. Okay. Aim was off. <laughs> now look at that guy. He starts out like that. He doesn't fall in between those two blocks. That has got to be a hint of some kind, because that's just weird. I'm going to flame these holes again. I don't remember which ones I've actually done, except for that top one that I just did. So, okay, nothing in there. Nothing up there. What are you trying to tell me, game? Stop! I really wish you could stop that thing.
trying to see if maybe I, I can go down through it, maybe? It's just a really weird thing to put there. Huh. Aha! Okay, get the fuck out. <laughs> GTFO. Alright, got this level and then a boss level. Uh, and I'm <laughs> inside a volcano. This is pretty damn hot. But I'm ching. Ow. Try to run under that rock. And I still haven't learned my lesson about this game, that everything that you can see that comes flying at you is perfectly timed to hit you when you get to it. Oh, suck, 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 suck! Oh, okay. I'm gonna ride that thing, I guess. I'm guessing just about everything in here gives you flame. <laughs> <laughs> I seem to have a habit of triggering these platforms once I get to the end of them. <laughs> Instead of at the beginning of them when their movement would actually be helpful to me. A bitch! Damn it! See, I'm tapping the button as fast as I can once that thing stops. And the game forces you to, to be vulnerable for a few seconds. So that's kind of bullshit. In fact, I don't like that enough that I'm going to dump the power. Now watch in here, I'm going to need it. <laughs> oh, okay. DDD's going to help a bit. Ass! I swung that fucking hammer. But there's a little bit of a delay for it. Ow. I'm su surprised these columns don't magically crumble away to nothing. Total shit. Fucker got to hit me twice. Oh, look at that. I just did that by mistake. <laughs> Don't know why it was important to me to go back there and destroy the bottom of that column. Ow! All this fucking lava. Oh, bitch! And I get killed by the friggin' innocuous floating black orb. So tired of shit hitting me in the head. Okay, you can do the top of this column too. Okay, nothing in it. You can do it. Getting tired of that. Kill you before you kill me, bitch. Of course, this guy still got me first. Give me a blue star. No blue star? What the fuck, game? You establish a rule, and then you change the rule. Fire breather. Reject dragon. Oh, wow, jeez. <laughs> okay. I guess I'm going in here. I get DDD chucked me in here. Holy shit, it's a flaming sword. 
I will take that. You know, it's interesting to note, I think uh, in the development of this game, it originally started off as a, uh, a third-person platformer similar to Super Mario 64, and if I recall correctly, they were trying to do Kirby's powers in that perspective, and it just wasn't working. Like, they would have had to sacrifice one of the core things that makes Kirby Kirby. Oh, look at that, I can hold it straight up. And just hit things above me. Okay, can, can I do it down? No, can't do it down. But yeah, so at some point in the game's development, it changed into this, which is a two and a half D platformer. I can throw the thing too. So when I do it up and then B again, that throws it. That that is cool. cool thing is, as big as this sword is, it looks like it's not slowing down, um, it's not slowing down my run speed and it's not decreasing my jump either. And eventually I'm going to be able to get past one of these friggin' lava flows without taking damage. <laughs> Kill everything above me. What am I supposed to get for that? Fire and stone, I guess? Well, that's in here, isn't it? That was red, wasn't it? Yes, that's red. Mmm, hell yes. And I can hold down the button and still move. Super Ultra Spark. Okay, I still need... Fire, though. Ass! I'm really tired of those birds shitting flaming chunks everywhere. That's all they do. Yes, there's a stone guy. Oh, yeah, that gives me that. Okay. Volcano. Ass! Take that, bitch! Your flaming, exploding shit's not gonna get me. Haha, you tried and you failed. God, close. Come on, jump on the pole. Jump on the hole, fucker. Come on, do it. You want so badly to fuck this up for me. That's not doing it. What the fuck? That looks brown and red to me. What am I supposed to do? What the fuck am I supposed to do here? I don't know. Fuck it. I'll come back to it. Oh, what now? Oh, nice, a wall of fire. That's exactly what I wanted to happen. Need that. <laughs> then give it to me and take it away. Fucker. At least I'm getting all my health back. 
I was. Fuckers. <laughs> get close to them, all they do is get a fucking boner. Like, here, come here, suck it, suck it, suck it. Come on, you know you want to, fuck you. You're engulfed in lava now. <laughs> and that solidifies quite handily. Not that I'd want to go back in there now. Oh, I know what's gonna happen here. It's gonna start going up! Trying to get that one up and it fucked me out of it. Yes! Damn it, it's going too fucking fast! Fucker! God! How are you supposed to get through that when it's moving so fucking fast? Fortunately, on my way, I discovered what I was hoping for. There was a shard over here. <laughs> Missed the platform, because they're so fucking tiny. The game starts throwing everything in, its, in your way that can possibly slow you down. Okay, so I missed that shard. No idea how to get it. Gonna have to come back for it. Oh boy, so what's gonna happen here? And I have no power whatsoever. That was stupid coming in here without a power. Okay, that's what I'm supposed to do. He's gonna fart three of them at me, probably random each time. Nice. So even when he changes it up, I can still hit him. Yeah. Of course, this seems a little bit too easy. A little bit too predictable. So I predict <laughs> that this is not his only life meter, that I'm going to take this one out and he's going to do something else. Mm, like that. <laughs> Boom. See, that's not the end of him. Yep, I remember this. And then he fucking comes after you. And I'll just leisurely walk away from him. <laughs> oh, great. Okay. Now what? Eat it. <laughs> Don't know if you have to hit him in the mouth, but that certainly worked. Oh, shit. What's he doing? Oh, shit, 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 shit! That's bullshit. Looks like the only safe place to hide there was right up next to him. I don't think I'm gonna do it this time. Yep, that didn't work. So just blew that. Okay, do your thing. Okay, good, I was right about that. Now he's gonna drop the rocks. Damn it! Still got him though. Guy's gonna switch sides. And he's gonna throw the birds. And then I miss sucking in the fucking bird. I bet I have to do the whole fucking boss over, don't I? From the very beginning. Yes, I do. Damn it! And I'm. I'm getting a power this time. I don't have to do it without a power. <laughs> uh, what power should I get? Bomb would be good. 
I'm gonna go back and get bomb. Nope, wait, yeah, yeah, right here. I've done this twice already in this segment. You think I'd reliably remember it? Ass! <laughs> Blew him up too, somehow. And now I want to find some food before I leave this level so that I go into the boss fully charged. Full health. There's a Maxim Tomato. Or as I call them, Ultimatoes. <laughs> okay, back to the boss. Let's do it. Cause now I don't have to wait for this guy to throw stuff at me. I can just be chucking bombs the whole time. Oh, he... Okay, do that one first right off the bat. Yeah, and then you can't fly up too high because of fucking lava ceiling. Okay, pretty sure I got off like three hits there and he only took one. Nice. It's close, but it still worked. Fuck you. Phase two, bitch. Can I kill him right here? No. <laughs> I get to hit him more than once. I don't have to jump to throw those. Huh? Shit, shit, shit. <sighs> Close. Yeah, nice. See, that's how you do it. Use your powers. And we get a cutscene. What's this one gonna be? Okay, something's happening with the shard. Volcano blowing up. <laughs> we get out just in time. Shard opens the way to the next level. Come on, Wadley. Come on, get your ass in here. I'll eat you if I have to. <laughs> and that's it for that. Uh, Shiver Star is next. As expected, I'm going to stop here. Next time I'll do Shiver Star, and uh, that one will probably take even longer, probably involve even more swearing, even more frustration, even more anger, and it should be fun for all. See you then.